How you guys doing today on this beautiful Tuesday? Um, I want to talk about a comment that someone left on my last presentation about some people were destined to live a bad life. Um, I do believe that some people were destined to live a life of pain, misery, agony, disappointment. Um, life is all about the luck of the draw. Um, some people got it good in life. Some people got it bad in life. Uh, some people just wasn't lucky in life. Um, I think it's very unfortunate that some men won't be able to have companionship. This is why prostitution needs to be legalized for men who won't be able to have companionship. Because just think to yourself, just think if you could go to a brothel, you know, you could uh, get an escort to hang out with you, go play tennis with you, go uh, to a nice fine dining restaurant with you. You know, go on a vacation with you. Just think if you could go pay, if you could pay an escort for for these services, you know, you could pay an escort to take a trip to the Cayman Islands with you. Uh, that That's fun right there. You know, um, I feel like services like that need to be available, especially for men who will especially for men who won't be able to uh, for men who won't be able to have a family. This is why these services are needed for men who won't be able to have, you know, a wife and children and all of that good stuff. That's why these services need to be available. Um, just think about how good that would be if they had escort services to where you could pay a woman to take a trip to, to Jamaica with you, you know, uh, you know, and um you know, you could pay an escort to go on a three or four day vacation with you to Jamaica, you know, after she done sucked you off and made and, and gave you some of that, you know, sweet nectar. And, you know, they, they need services like that because some men ain't going to be able to have no family. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to have children, a wife, you know, they're not going to be able to have these things. That's why these services need to be available for some dudes. Um you know, I feel like these services will definitely be good for, for certain men. Um, far as, you know, people who were destined to live a terrible life, I feel like some people, you know, they, they got the odds against them. A lot of people don't want to believe this, but it's true. Some people have the odds against them. Some people have the odds in their favor and some people have the odds against them. Uh, some people were just born to lose, whether people want to admit this or not. Everybody wasn't born to win. You know, life is like a chess game. You know, some people, uh, you know, they, 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 they were dealt the best cards. Some folks were dealt the worst cards. And I feel the person that left that comment asking me to talk about people who was destined to live a terrible life. That was a good comment. And uh, this is a good topic to talk about. Uh, some people, they just not cut out for this society. They not cut out for this world. Uh, some people are just seen as squares and rejects. And the same mentality that people had back in middle school, high school, people have that mentality even as adults. That's why certain people don't want to invite you into their social circle. Because once you've been labeled as a square, a reject, an outcast, whatever you want to call it, that's how people going to treat you. And looks play a big role in how people perceive you as well. Looks. Um, a lot of people won't admit that looks is king. You know, uh, having a good personality, being intelligent, that don't mean nothing. Um, people don't care about that. You know, if you don't have a certain mentality, you know, if you don't look a certain way, you're going to be seen as an outcast and, and, a, and a reject. Um, especially when it comes to the dating game, you know, as a man, like when it comes to females, if you don't fit a certain image, you out of there, you're not getting no play from females. If you don't look a certain way, it's over. Um, a lot of people know that what I'm saying is true deep down, but they'll try to deny it to no end. Uh, looks is everything in this world. Looks determine how people treat you, how they perceive you, the whole nine, what you look like and what you have or don't have. That's going to determine if people like you or not. Uh, being a good person, believing in Jesus, that's not going to get you ahead in this world. 
I used to want to believe that everyone was blessed and highly favored. I used to want to believe that God made everybody blessed and highly favored. And I know there are some people that don't even believe in a higher power. But I like to have the idea, you know, that there is a higher power. He's just not concerned about everyone. That's the philosophy I like to have. Um, some people just not cut out for this world, you know, especially like when it comes to the dating scene, you know, the mating scene. Some people just not cut out for it. Uh, there are some guys that, you know, women just never dig them, you know, uh, it's unfortunate, but see, women have a um, women have this 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 mentality. You know, if if you don't fit the image of what they want, it's over for you. You know, like if you don't look a certain way, if you don't have certain things, women are not gonna want you as a man. They just not. And I used to want to believe that every guy could be, you know, a ladies' man. That every dude could be that dude that you know women want to be with. But every dude can't be that sexy dude that all the women want. Every dude can't be that. Now, I used to want to believe that every dude could be a sex symbol. You know, you know, uh, that guy that, you know, the women were checking for, choosing up on. I used to want to believe that every dude could be that kind of man. Every dude can't be that chosen dude. You know, Usher got a song on his latest album coming home called Luckiest Man. I must be the luckiest man in the world. Can't tell you how fortunate to make you my girl. I can't afford to risk it. Answered all my wishes. I, I, I. It goes something like that, the chorus of that song. Now, due to the fact that he would make a song called Luckiest Man, don't you know that there are some dudes who are the unluckiest man? I mean, because you can't have the night without the day. You can't have life without death. It's a duality. You can't have uh, gentle fluidity silver without gentle fluidity gold. Those of you who know about Mason Francis Kirk, John, know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, it, it's a contrast. That's a contrast fragrance that Mason Francis Kirk, John, made. Um, it's... it's, it's um, it's the it's the, it's the same it's the same fragrance but it's different personalities you know you know but you guys who who know about fragrances and know about MFK I'm sure you guys know about gentle fluidity um and if you don't know about gentle fluidity check out my review on gentle fluidity silver but um due to the fact that uh Usher made a song called Lucky as Man I'm sure he knows there are some men out there who are the unluckiest man. You know, uh, if you got a luckiest man, there there are some unlucky men. You know, I could, you know, somebody could make a song called uh, un Unluckiest Man. Because some guys are unlucky. And I think it's unfortunate. I think it's sad. But what can you do about it? And one thing I never liked is how people who have the odds stacked up against them, people who are in bad positions. One thing I never liked is how people try to blame them for their bad situation. You know, I notice men who are undesirable, men who are not being chosen. I notice other men tell these men, you're just not dominant enough. You're just beta. You're not alpha. That's why you can't get a woman. There's no such thing as alpha male. There's no such thing as beta male. Th those are just terminologies that people made up because they sound good. I never believed in no alpha male. I never believed in no beta male. Ain't, no, ain't none of that. that. That ain't no such thing. See, a lot of people like believing in foolishness. Just how people talk about this manifestation stuff. There ain't no manifestation. It's either you lucky in life or you unlucky in life. There's no such thing as manifestation. The only thing you about to manifest is what you create, is what you get up off your behind and do. If you don't get up off your behind and do nothing, then nothing will get done. You know, sitting around praying for financial miracles. If you don't go to trade school, if you don't get up off your behind and hustle and grind and shine, nothing is going to come your way. So I don't get caught up in that manifestation stuff, neither. Uh, some people... 
just got the, the cards stacked up against their behind. Some people were just dealt some bad cards in life. And, you know, as a man, it's not about how you perceive yourself as a man. It's how women feel about you. Because women are the choosers of men. And men who are good looking to women, men who are attractive to women, women overlook their flaws. So it don't matter how many flaws or imperfections you have as a man. If you sexy to a woman, if you make a woman wet in her pants, then you're going to be the man that she chooses to sleep with and have children with. You know, just like that woman who got with who married that pastor. You know, that woman who married that pastor who ended up knocking her off. She thought he was a man of God. He proved her different. He knocked that. He knocked her behind off. So one thing I had to learn in life is that. Um, all of your imperfections and bad qualities as a man um, will be overlooked, especially if uh, women find you attractive as a man. They'll ignore all your bad qualities. They'll ignore the fact that you a demon from hell. See, women give passes to men that they like, and they give hell to dudes that they don't like. So what I had to learn as a man it's not about being a good man. You know, you can be good all you want and you still won't get no female because it's all about whether or not they attracted to you, whether or not they like you. And what I had to learn as a man, women will overlook your flaws if they like you. You could be the devil himself. You could just you could be an evil person and women will overlook that crap because they like you. So, you know, if you a dude that's not chosen if you're a dude that got the odds stacked up against you you just wasn't lucky in life but i don't i don't like the fact that we live in a society that believes in blaming people for their misfortune just think about how sadistic and evil that is to blame somebody for their own misfortune in life i mean even down to not being able to get a companion as a man, oh, you can't get a companion, you can't get love, it's your fault. How? How is it your fault that no woman wants to continue your legacy? Answer that. But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Because this whole blame the person mentality got to stop. This whole blame men who are not selected by women got to stop. People got to stop blaming men who not chosen by women. And telling them that it's your fault to why your life is terrible. It's your fault to why you constantly catching L's and why things ain't going the way you want them to go. Please stop it. Why not blame God? Instead of blaming the individual for their crappy situation or their hellacious life, why not blame God? Why does the, why does the individual have to take accountability for their crappy life? I don't get it. But see, this is the society we live in. We live in a society that believes in holding the person accountable. And see, especially as a man, as a man, any area of your life that's not perfected, people going to blame you as a man, even down to your love life. If you a man that can't get any can't get any love from the opposite gender, it's your fault. How? Please explain that to me. You know, because I notice a lot of these men who are not selected, a lot of these guys who have terrible lives, people love to tell them that it's their fault. I just want to know how, though. How is it your fault that no women want to wet your sausage up? How is it your fault that no women want to bust that thing open for you? But they willing to bust it open for Romeo, who just got out of prison doing 25 years. He just did a 25 bid in the pen. You know, he got chicks in rotation. He got three, he got three baby mamas, you know, not taking care of none of the children. A deadbeat to all his kids. But he got chicks in rotation. You know, Romeo, who just got out of prison doing a 25 year bid. But you as a man who try to walk the straight and narrow path, doing all the, you know, try to do all the right things in life. You know, people want to tell you it's your fault to why you can't even get your sausage wet. Please explain that to me. This is a sadistic world we live in, and it's time to stop blaming people for their problems all the time. 
you know, because how is it your fault as a man if you're not selected out here? How? Please explain that to me. I never understood why, why you have dudes and people in general, they like to blame these guys who are unselected by the opposite gender. A, a lot of people like to blame folks who have bad lives. Now, don't get me wrong. There are some people who made bad choices in their life, and they the reason to why their life is, is not worth nothing. Now, there are some people who messed up their life. They made a lot of bad choices in life. They messed themselves up. But then on the other hand, you got some people who was just dealt a bad deck of cards in life. The odds are stacked up against them. God don't love them. So let's, let's use our brains as human beings and stop trying to blame people for their problems all the time. And please, for the life of me, let's stop blaming men who can't get their sausage wet. Why not hold these shallow women accountable? But on that note, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this presentation on this beautiful Tuesday morning. You guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.